In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate the correct pump for your hydroponic system. If you're interested in an aquaponic system, check out the video right here for those calculations. Now, in a hydroponic system, we can move much less water than in an aquaponic system. Let's do the calculations. So we will discuss the different systems first and then we'll do a combined calculation. Now this is a NFT system, a nutrient film technology system. We've got a thin film of water running at the bottom of this pipe and it's circulated. Um, there's two things that you must calculate in your uh, pump calculations. The first is your head. And the head of your pump is calculated from the lowest level that the water can go in your sump up until the highest level that the pump must lift the water. And that's your total head for this um, system. We'll talk about friction in the pipes just a little bit later. The next thing is your flow rate. Your flow rate in a system like in an NFT system is 10 to 25 liters per hour. You'll see this is much slower than for instance an aquaponic system because in the hydroponic system we've only got our solution, our nutrient solution that we circulate and there's no nitrification process happening. So your slope is 2 to 4 percent. That equates to 2 to 4 centimeters per 1 meter. That means if you've got 1 meter from there till there, then the amount that it must fall is 2 to 4 centimeters. So let's move on to the next one. It's um, vertical grow towers. In this case, we've got three vertical grow towers. Uh, again, the head of our pump is from the lowest level in the sump till the highest level that the water must be lifted. And that will give us our head. Now the flow in these towers, again 20, uh, 10 to 25 liters per tower. So for every single tower, uh, you need to be able to deliver 10 to 25 liters. If you go for the lower end and you've got three towers, then it means if you've only got these three towers in your system, your total volume that you must shift is then three times that 10, which is 30 liter per hour. The next system is our deep water culture and uh, your floating rafts will be on top here. Uh, again, your head from the lowest level that the water can go in your sump, in your system, and then to the highest point that the water must be lifted. Please remember that it, the highest point is not the start of your grow bed. The highest point is the highest point that your pipe goes up and then uh, maybe down into your grow bed. So that's your highest point. That will give you your head for your system. And the flow rate in this case is calculated at least your grow bed once per hour. So if this is a 100 liter grow bed, then your flow rate in this system must be a 100 liter per hour. Then we've got our flood and drain system and you can see your media here. You can see your bell siphon. Again, your head from the lowest point that the water will go in your sump till the highest point that you can lift your water, that's your head. And then again, your flow rate is equal to the volume of your grow bed. Please pay attention that in, uh, in a flood and drain system, you've normally got grow media in here. It may be um, expanded clay pellets or um, gravel, crust, rock, um, any type of system that you've got there, uh, any type of media that you've got there. And that media also take space in your grow bed. So if this is a 100 liter grow bed, it's not to say it will take 100 liters because the space that the, of the space that the grow media also take in the system. It can be typically uh, 30 liters, but you have to do that calculation. An easy way to do that is to take um, a one liter uh, cup uh, put your grow media in and then throw water in till the top, then throw the water out and measure that and you can do your calculation according to that. 
Right, so here's our a total system that we're going to do a quick example on. You see you've got three vertical towers, you've got an NFT system, you've got a flood and drain bed, and you've got a deep water culture bed there. Your sump is 4,000 liters. So let's start with that. The first thing, your vertical towers, there's three of them, and we took 20 as our uh, amount that we're going to select there. So 3 times 20 will give us that 60 liter per hour for our vertical towers. Then we've got our NFT system. It's only one of them in this case at 20 liters per hour. Then we've got our deep water culture, which is one of them. And you can see the volume of this is 1000 liters. So it's 1000 liters per hour. Then you've got your flood and drain system and the water uh, amount in your flood and drain bed is 500 liter. So it's one time 500 liter. That will give us a total of 1580 liters for the system. Our head is calculated only once for the system from the lowest point in the sump till the highest point where you lift your water that will give us our head in this case 1.8 meter please remember that head is only calculated from the lowest to the highest point and you don't consider anything in between so that's our head we've said we must compensate for friction in the pipes and i do that by adding a 20 percent to my head so if the head is 1.8 meters, I multiply that by 1.2 to add that 20%. So my total head in this case is 2.16 meters. Now, here's two pumps. Um, there's a curve for one pump, curve for another pump. On your vertical axis, you've got your pump head. And on your horizontal axis, you've got your flow rate. It means that one will represent 1000 liter, two will represent 2000 liter. So we've calculated our required head as 2.16, so that's around there, and we must deliver uh, 1580 liters. So at 2 meter around here, if we go here, we will see that this pump will only be able to deliver 1000 liter. If we go over to this pump, we will see this pump will be able to deliver 2000 liters. And if I only add a selection between these two pumps, I will take this one. Always make sure your pump can do more than what is required. Uh, that will compensate friction in your pipes, maybe more than the 20%. So um, rather take the higher pump. Um, in the in this case now i just want to show you one or two things here this is a magnetic coupled impeller pump uh, you will see these pumps normally does not have a very high head so if you've got vertical towers in many cases they will not work here's a few pumps from this manufacturer you can see the model numbers here, the power that they consume, the head, the maximum head that they can deliver, uh, the certain liter per hour at. So another thing that's important is the economy side of your pump. Uh, maybe you'll get one pump that at 200 watt 7 meters can give you 8000 liters. The other one maybe only use 150 watt for that same amount and head. So please have a look at the economy side if you select a pump as well. You also get variable frequency drive pumps that where the variable frequency drive is built into the pump these days. And that will also make an enormous uh, amount of difference in the power that you consume. You know that many of these pumps will um, run 24-7. On your screen right now, there's links to videos that may help you in your journey. If you found any value in this video, please like it, subscribe, and we'll do this journey together. Thank you and bye-bye.